Welcome to News Desk on SiliconANGLE TV for Monday, October 1st, 2012. I'm Kristen Folletti. Nokia has some geolocation mojo. According to the Wall Street Journal, Oracle and Nokia are partnering in the map business. Expected to be announced today, the deal is that Oracle will provide Nokia's mapping data in its applications. What will this mean for the future of mapping? Here with breaking analysis on the looming Oracle Nokia announcement is SiliconANGLE News Desk Editor Kristen Nicole. Welcome, Kristen. Good morning. So can you tell us about Nokia's history with mapping technology? Sure. As a mobile company, it's really important to be able to layer in that map data. And uh, with the acquisition of Navtech back in 2007, they really had an opportunity to uh, work on how they're going to build out this technology moving forward. And, and they've been making some, some big, important strides in recent years. So uh, specifically, what are some of those strides that they've been working on within the past five years or so? There's been some technology improvement they rolled out with more integration features, of course, things like navigation and um, location awareness for different businesses. There's a lot of retailers and restaurants that are looking for this type of information uh, to be able to market to um, people that have cell phones and Nokia being having such a large footprint in the mobile industry worldwide, it's becoming an extremely important area for Nokia to grow out and develop from a business standpoint. Tell us about this new enterprise landscape with Oracle and what this deal means for consumers. Sure, it's going to be a big opportunity for Nokia and Oracle in the enterprise space. Nokia's uh, had some opportunity to move into the automobile industry with their mapping technology and then, of course, into the mobile space. And now with Oracle, they have more opportunity with the enterprise space. And that should really help with end user applications and whatever type of applications developers will be creating uh, that are coming from the enterprise, trickling down to the end users and throughout the enterprise space. It's, it's really going to be an important development on, on all sides. So on, on the scale of things, how big of an announcement is this for Nokia? It's a pretty big announcement for Nokia. Oracle, it's not their biggest announcement in the world, but it certainly indicates the importance of mapping technology location awareness. Nokia has recently landed mapping deals with Groupon and Amazon. Why are companies starting to gear more of their focus towards location awareness in relationship to commerce? It's really important for marketing and um, with the social local mobile trends that are developing oh, with smartphones, being able to compile all those data layers on top of geolocation is very impactful when it comes to direct advertising and recommendation systems. So really being able to better personalize the experience for the end user. Nokia has invested a great deal into their mapping data. Does Apple need to get the hint? I think so. I think um, it really shows. I mean, Nokia has been working on this for a few years now, and they're just now starting to gain steam in terms of being a viable option an alternative to Google. So for Apple to work on it um, in a relatively short period of time compared to Google and, and Nokia, it's definitely something that Apple should heed, I think. Obviously, poor timing for Apple. They've been facing a PR nightmare uh, behind their Maps application. What else or who else could be suffering or in danger as Nokia is sort of making this forward motion? Well, Apple is certainly having a very hard time right now, and it just really emphasizes, reiterates what's going on with Nokia here. Um, with the comparing Nokia and Apple, of course, it's, it's not helping Apple's situation at all. Um, but Google could also stand to lose something here. Uh, they've been replaced with Nokia's mapping technology with uh, Amazon and uh, Groupon. And of course, they just lost out on the Apple deal. So they're starting to um, lose some, some of their user base, at least some of their default user base, for certain applications and integration points. So where do you see that leading Google down the line in their future of mapping? This is really another aspect of the data wars that are going on, especially when it comes to mobile platforms. So Apple wants to own a lot of that data. Google wants to own a lot of that data. Nokia wants to own a lot of that data. And being able to compile all of that information and provide the best user experience, the most personalized user experience, that's the platform that's going to win out. So 
however that data can best be used will really indicate who the, the top dog is going to be. Now, Apple's Tim Cook has offered up a recent apology about Apple Maps, and according to some sources, Apple is getting back on the upswing. Uh, what are your thoughts about Apple's future actions in mapping? I think there's an opportunity there. Of course, they have one of the most prevalent um, consumer-facing artificial intelligence systems with Siri. I think that Siri is going to play a very important role in getting customers acquainted with artificial intelligence systems, and they could really leverage that with their maps as it continues to improve to create that end user, that personalized end user experience that will uh, determine the, the top players in that in that regard. So if Apple can really find a way to improve their their navigation and fix a lot of the bugs and get the kinks out and and verify all of the data that has been marked incorrect on their on their mapping platform, I think that there certainly is an opportunity for Apple. Now, while Apple is working out the kinks with their mapping device, they've opened up the doors um, and allowed other mapping applications to kind of take a stand and, and step foot in the place where Apple is falling at this point. Uh, what do you think about that move? I think it was probably smart on their part. They built this uh, platform that allows applications and has an entire ecosystem and marketplace for that. So there's no reason why they should necessarily feel badly about promoting some of the tools that are already available to consumers that are still being used through their platform, um, at least until they get all those bugs worked out. Of course, they still want to encourage users to utilize their own Maps application so they can take that um, activity data and continually improve their maps, but I think it was probably a good thing for Apple to go ahead and admit their mistake. Uh, it's a little different from probably the way Steve Jobs would have handled it, but this could be uh, a good thing for Apple. Well, Kristen, we appreciate your time as always. Thanks so much. Take care. And remember, you can follow the news of the day and get the latest breaking analysis here at News Desk on SiliconANGLE TV.